Our mutual fiend. Dr. Freeman, you made it. Hey! Boy, are we glad to be here. Yeah, we heard you ran into a little trouble out there. Combine's been trying to hit in the front door. <laughs> I think they learned their lesson. You mind if we uh, keep dog patrolling out here? <laughs> Not at all. You heard him, dog. I'm gonna go see Dad. I'll catch up to you later. You take care of yourself. I don't think Eli knows you're here yet. He's in Silo One Access Unit, right through here. Shall we? I don't feel anything anymore. <laughs> you and me both. Oh no, what's that? All right, back to work, everyone. It's just another false alarm in the secondary silo. Same old Dr. Magnuson. I don't trust that. So, have you ever used an AR-2 before? AR-2? Hey, Gordon! Man, you made it! Of course. Dad. Alex! I was so afraid I wouldn't see you again. There, there, sweetheart. We're together now. That's all that matters. And look at you, son. <laughs> I knew if you both stayed together, you could get through anything. Yeah? Yep. We make a pretty good team. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good because, well, now that the suppression feels down, we all have to do our part. Dad? <laughs> Can you blame an old man for wanting grandkids? <laughs> <laughs> What's, what happened to you? Dad, it's not she died. Is. It's fine. Are you sure? Shouldn't we have that look at? Really? I'm fine. Uh, where's Dr. Kleiner? We should get this data to him right away. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes, we should. He'll be glad for a chance to get out of the silo. This way, Gordon. The way he and Magnuson have been going at it, you think they were still competing for grant money. <laughs> <laughs> Something's never changed. <laughs> Do we have any idea how long until the super portal's active? We don't know for sure. We're keeping an eye on it. And what about the Combine? Will we be able to launch before they attack? It's gonna be close. All it would take is one strider to destroy our rocket. But we're ready for it. I'm sorry, we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. We're gonna go. I'm just so glad to have you back. <sighs> I'm glad to be back. <sighs> Lamar is still around? Dude. That head crab has so many problems. Why didn't you tell me they arrived? Don't worry, Izzy. They just got here. My dear, what a relief. Not to mention a delight to see you here at last. And Gordon, I see you in the HEV suit have taken excellent care of each other. Of course. <laughs> They're inseparable. The data, people, the data! Kleiner, are you going to sync up the satellite, or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? Oh, right. All right, all right. Huh, huh. I was just saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Oh, fine. No one grants me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red car. Good grief. I only meant they might... Oh, no, no, no. oh, never mind him. Now, my dear, where is this data packet you've been carrying? If I delay a single moment, I'll never hear the end of it. You have my word on it. It's right here, Dr. Kleiner. We've got a ton of data. The strange thing is, it was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? From Judith? Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process, and then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes, of course. Another alarm? Oh, what next in the parade of constant interruption? Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone? Ugh. Oh, it's alarms all day. Damn crows and nesting on the tracks. I do not know how I am supposed to concentrate with all... I doubt all the false alarms are false alarms. Freeman. Freeman, you're not doing anything. Make yourself useful and find out what the hell is going on in there. Uh, yes. Gordon, if you don't mind, I feel better if you had a look. Catch up with us when you're done. Freeman! 
Yes. The blast doors will have sealed due to the alert, so you'll have to go through the bottom of the launch tube. I'll open this hatch to let you down. Now, once you're down there, I'll have Uriah let you into the secondary silo. Okay. It's never this easy. Yeah, it's not going to be a crow problem. Enough further unauthorized use of the emergency override will be dealt with summarily. I don't like this Dr. Magnuson, if I'm being perfectly honest. Hey, it's a Vortigaunt. Freeman. Yes. The Magnuson has instructed me to admit you into the secondary silo. Yes. The secondary silo can be reached through here. Lots of supplies. I will gladly take all of them. What is what? Hey, I do hear Magnus in much the same. Well, uh, oh my god, oh dear, this is a breach. It's not a crow problem. Let me just head on through. Oh no. Okay. Solved that problem. Ah, uh, we've got another one. Oh dear, we've got a ton of them. Why are there so many of them? Am I actually supposed to take them all down? I probably wasn't supposed to fall down there. Okay. That worked. Okay. All things considered, that worked out pretty well. I heard you. Goodbye. Let's turn off that steam. No, nope, go up, Gordon. Alright, oh dear. That is not a useful gun. And 
Nope. Okay, I did manage to take out the turret. Good. I need lots of health. I don't think I got it far enough. Yeah? No. Come on. Alright, I don't want to deal with that. I am super dead. Attention, Freeman. It is critical that you seal the overhead silo doors and stop this infiltration. There's some health. Trying to carefully deal with these turrets. That did not work. No. Yes. Okay. No, not you guys. You guys suck. Ah, oh, and now I'm out of health again. Those guys are awful. More ammo. More health. Okay. Um, there's supplies. How would I get to them? Might be able to pull them up here, yeah. Good. Uh, hang on, this didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I can't make it up there. Um, all right. Can I get over this? No. Huh. I followed this along. Got me to a dead end here. Oh, no, I jump down here and then go through this hole. I gotcha. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Freeman, I repeat, there has been a breach of the secondary silo by way of the overhead one doors. I will trust you to seal the silo door. Nope, that is there. I need to go up that ladder. Okay. Can I get up that ladder while they're attacking? 
I don't really have an angle to shoot at them. Oh, I see you. Taken care of. Freeman. Freeman, have you heard a word I've been saying? It's up to you to seal the launch doors. Yes. Gotta say, not a huge fan of this Magnuson guy. else back there. Whoa. Hey. convenient if I had like a radio that I could communicate on to let them know that like hey yeah I did hear you I'm still alive and well would I jump up here yes no I mean yes but get in there. Oh, that was really bad. There we go. I'm gonna hope that's what he was wanting me to do. Yeah. I mean, they can shoot towards here as long as they want while it slowly closes. Okay. Oh, those are friendlies. team and by team I mean basically just me Gordon thank goodness you're okay of course I'm okay I'm Gordon Freeman Phew. glad that's over we couldn't get in until you sealed off the silo and the blast doors opened up regrettably true I better let my dad know you're all right dad Yes, Alex. Is everything okay? Is Gordon all right? Yes, he's fine. And thanks to him, the base is secure. Good, good. We're about to watch the transmission from Judas. We'll head right over. Zoom up here. The Freeman must follow. Yes. If you would take the Freeman from here, I can return to my place of honor at the side of the Magnuson. Sure thing. Thanks for the help. Your place of honor at the side of the Magnuson. Dr. Kleiner told me that Judith headed north in a helicopter right after they got here. But he wouldn't tell me why. 
Okay. I'm fairly sure I've pinned down the location of the project. It's hard to say how much of it might have survived intact or whether there's anything remaining that could compromise our work if it were discovered by the Combine. We'll need to take a close look at it, of course, but I should be able to give a better opinion within a few hours. If the site is where we think it is, then it should be no more than... I'm gonna cut this short. We may have been spotted. Never have let him go. There was no stopping her, Eli. Wait a moment. There's something else here. It's the Borealis. Good God. Incredible. What? The Borealis? It's real? Oh yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise. But in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard their research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished, with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine. Did you- Use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential. Did Black Mesa talk to you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But it's a combine catcher. He'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure I won't that... take that chance. I'm going after Dad. her. Now, Eli, the only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. If you're waiting for the Combines, go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Dad, are you okay? Not again. No, I can't. I can't let it happen again. Not another black mesa. Dad, prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad! Okay. It's okay. Just, just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine in a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you... Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, you keep an eye on him? Yeah. We're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, baby. So I like the After Science Portal reference. The last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. You had just stepped into the test chamber when he whispered them in my ear. The G-Man? Okay, so you've had contact with him. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I... I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now... Now he's using my little girl, putting words in her mouth. God damn it. I should have known when he rescued her it was for his own damn reasons. Yep. Gordon, there's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance. Um, Here you go. Is everything all right? There's nothing, honey. All right, people, change of plans. 
There is no way we can launch before those striders are... Oh, oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting the tea time. I'll just step out until you're finished, if that's more convenient. Well, Freeman, I believe I've found the perfect use for you. Follow me, quickly. We'll, uh, we'll talk later. I'm sure what you have to say is probably more important than Magnuson. Also, it amuses me that they've got this, whatever it's printing out, going directly into a recycling bin. No one's looking at it, no one's doing anything with it, it's just wasting paper. Alright, Magnuson, what's up? Freeman, striders are coming. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. We don't dare launch until all striders are destroyed. Now you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest, and this ingenious new weapon of mine, in your hands. We call it the Magnuson device. Of course you do. My chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. I don't believe that. Now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. Whatever you say. Now what it is, is a sort of sticky bomb. Although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull, then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but... Well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Gravity gun. Follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Now, out in the field, we'll supply you with all the Magnuson devices you need through delivery ports like this one. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find in the field. That's right. Now toss it with the main bot. Good. Now, take out the firearm of your choice and shoot the device. There you go. Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Now, let's move on to a more challenging task. Uriah, send the target to the far end of the rails. Okay. I'm guessing I can't directly shoot and I've got to arc it. Try it now. bit more challenging at this range, isn't it? I accounted for too much distance. Magnificent device, isn't it? I mean, I'll... Right over here when you are ready to head up. I'll believe that when I can actually see how it explodes, because currently it's not that impressive. But, Have let's give it a shot. Sure. Your is fueled and ready to go. Oh, okay. Now, every building in the valley has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now, I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my magnesons. Oh, and Freeman, if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean, involving a certain microwave casserole. You're upset at me because of a microwave casserole. All right. I would argue that you're being a little bit petty, but. I've taken a few liberties with your car. Check it out. I added a rack for Magnuson devices back here. I tweaked your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. All right. Yes. It'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated from your car. No need to thank me. All right. Now check this map. We're right here at the south end of the valley. Rest of the gangs up north by the old sawmill here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. 
I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there. So you can see at the very bottom of our HUD, we now have this car indicator. That's cool. You'll find the sawmill at the far end of the valley. Wow, there are Magnuson devices everywhere. Perimeter's clear. Still no sign of incursion. Keep alert. I'm assuming I'm heading in roughly the right direction. They said keep going up the valley. This looks like a sawmill. Hey. Or are you guys the one that aren't going to give me the plan? Of course. We've counted a dozen striders just north of us. Our job is to keep them from reaching the base to the south. If they get close enough for one good shot at the silo, the whole launch is a bust. And in case striders aren't bad enough, recon indicates they're being escorted by packs of hunters. Of course they are. Now, what I want you to do... Attention! Uh oh North perimeter breach. All right, people, this is it. We have a strider oh, approaching no. from the cranes. Oh, Defensive am. position, go! Oh, man, here we go again. Everyone ready? Stop him here. Remember, nope. Did I hit it? Yes. No. Still no. Give me another one. Come on. <laughs> Alright. No. Like, what am I supposed to do here? The fact that the hunter freaking shot it out of the air. Alright, I'm dead. Cool. What fun.